Hello everybody, Fuck welcome, off, to Jimmy. <laughs> welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm, I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Gorilla Mezzo, hello. <laughs> hello Gorilla. <laughs> Sorry I had to sneeze at just the wrong time, <laughs> yeah, this is a disaster, good evening everyone and welcome to Friday Stand Firm, I'm Gorilla Mezzo. And I've got a cold. <laughs> Amazing, that really was a sneeze. <laughs> I thought you were joking about sneezing. I was laughing because you started laughing. <laughs> and I felt myself having to sneeze and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, by the way, what do you think about this, Gorilla? If you look at if you look at the shared screen, should I change that or I should I keep that? Uh, hang on. What do you mean? The entrances. At the which screen are we talking about? The oh. screen I'm sharing. Uh um, that is a lot of entrances, huh? Hmm. Your call. <laughs> okay, leave it off then. Eh? Leave it yeah. off. Fair I enough, think it will yeah. reduce the chance of it crashing too. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was. <laughs> All right. Here we are, folks. Welcome to Friday Stand Firm. We are going to kick it off with a tag match that should be champion versus champion. But, oh, no, the powers that be agreed with the uh, letter of the law, as it were. FanFox drafting up an injunction against me, trying to create Stand Firm-specific tag titles. So now we don't get them, and I don't know what that means for our tag division. But you know what I can still do is book anyone in the JFW, and I'm going to book dress for business in a non-title match right now against the winner three fives and something tells me that there's going to be hell to pay for that weird fox and his lemon buddy <laughs> yep <laughs> indeed I, I i i don't i i've been told specifically by the investment uh, by the investors not to go on a long rant about the decisions made. I do not have any control over the f financial dealings of the JFW. There's an investment team, obviously, billionaire Jim Smith man has his way with things as well. And all I can do is try to put on a good show for everyone on Friday night, and that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to still have ourselves a hell of a tag match. But keep your eyes peeled, folks. I have some surprises up my sleeve in the coming weeks to make Stand Firm the best show that it can possibly be, independent of tag titles. Glorious. Right, let's get to ringside. Indeed. And something happened there, didn't it? I, uh... Oh, this is the winner three fives, isn't it? Glorious. It is the winner three fives. That's oh god, I got my sneeze coming. <laughs> that, that's right. <laughs> they uh, they really they really put on a hell of a match to to uh, climb up the ladder, claim that uh, well empty promise as it were but here they are tonight looking in fine form and ready to take it to dress for business yep. might as well be a champion versus champion match if you're asking me <laughs> yep necro thank you very much for the five absolutely glorious thank you of course skurametso no stranger to championships no matter how you can get them the winner three five eight of the sfl J5, the winner three of Rando League. This is as champion a pedigree as you're going to find in any sort of tag division. Just maybe not, you know, in in wrestling accomplishments. Yep. <laughs> and hello, JBG. Hello, Trent. Yep, sadly, there is no milk in this. <laughs> in this. No milk tonight, but there is wrestling. <laughs> take our roles very seriously here in the JFW tonight is all about in-ring action and the, the winner three fives are taking them on tonight yep back yep. off J5 it's a pretty good gimmick I've fashioned for myself here isn't it with a yep <laughs> yep I think we fashioned it for you to be fair okay yeah fair enough <laughs> you didn't enough. have to do the work to come up with your own gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yep, you know, the crowd might have gone a little tepid. That's because it's the uh, 
the Claw <laughs> Two Heads champions, the the JFW Two Heads champions. Excuse me. Yep. It's uh, Fant Fox and Lemon is good. They are dressed for business, and they do have the gold around their waist, and they will continue to have the gold around their waist because this is a non-title match tonight. I'm sure there's going to be something for them wait or something waiting for them at Backlash. But you'll have to tune in to Monday Night Claw where those titles are exclusive to the JFW. Yep. He should have, yes, Penemy, he should. <laughs> and thank you, HDK. I think I still have OP, or Skurometsu still has OP on his boots, which is one of the most laughable overstatements of all time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> yes, Necrobones, it is an unbeatable team. Wow, they're and the champions. Here we go. Skuro and Lemon going to start it off. These two have had a war of words over the years, and here we go. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. Lock up. And, yeah, Skuro obviously has a power advantage there. Lemon's muscles just, uh, you know, it's more of a bodysuit, if you ask me. Whoa. Kayfabe, man. Kayfabe. <laughs> 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 Holy moly. He's, oh, wow. He's, I mean, he's a lemon, right? He's a fruit. That's why they're not as strong as human muscles. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be it. But here you go. He still has the speed and agility. A couple big moves, and he's got Skuro down just like that. And look at this. Oh, slamming that knee into the ground. Absolutely devastating maneuver. Again and again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> No? Yeah, I, th I thought we were getting a third one. No, <laughs> nice arm drag takedown by Skuro to get right Ooh. back up. No, and countered again. Uppercut into a couple punches. No, Skuro countering right back. These two very evenly matched right now. Skuro looking for a big move to maybe get an advantage. Going to hang him up on the ropes. Nicely done by Skuro Metso. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good That's a good point, Ansi. Yeah, it's the milk. Lots of milk, right? They drink the milk. That's how they get so, so muscular. It's definitely not steroids. It's milk. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Look at this, though. Oh, oh my god, a Dudley death drop! Oh my Man. god, a 3D's nuts by J5 and Skurametsu. Because <laughs> there's probably only three testicles between them. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> J5 excited about that. <laughs> and look out! Whoa, standing moonsault! A5, top rope Johnny, really showcasing his skills. Don't mistake his pants. You know, if you take his pants and the ref's shirt, you've got a fucking full-on zebra costume. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's an idea in future. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just because we say things out loud doesn't mean they have to become a reality in the JFW gym. <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, look at that, though. Nice snapmare. Oh. Oh, but just a savage closed fist punch by J, uh, ah, J5 to get back to his feet. But look out. Oh, gut buster by FanFox. Oh, and, and the now crab there's walk. that crab walk. Oh, it's the over. The crab walk has ended matches before, but it looks a little early to me. It's got, it's got to be over. There's no way. There's no way they can come <laughs> back from this. Yeah, Crab Walk almost as effective at winning matches as J5's Shake, Rattle, and Roll is at losing them. And look at that. Rolls over into barely a one count. But J5 looking to tag in Skuro and get out of this ring. <laughs> nope, he's changed his mind. And he's taking the fight to Fan Fox. Oh, Whoa, what an elbow. Huge forearm there. Big size advantage, obviously, for J5 in this one. Whoa. But Oh, and what a counter. Maybe even a speed and agility. J5. Really defies gravity in all sorts of ways, and this is one of them. He really does, doesn't he? It's amazing. <laughs> maybe J a JBG, maybe. <laughs> yep. Are you not sports entertained? <laughs> and that savage neck crank there. Oof. Nasty. Oh, 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 where's he going? Oh, top he's rope, thinking top about rope, top rope. Thought he was going to pick Lemon's Corner for a second, which has been uh, a problem for him in the past. And oh. look at that. Dead weight straight down and into the pin. Oh, Lemon, Lemon right there. Lemon taking out the ref to break up the count. 
Brutal. And yeah, yeah, J5 not realizing the ref is down, not able to get the pinfall because oh, of Lemon's Skiro, interaction. Look at What's Skiro doing? <laughs> nah, he's doing nothing. No, oh, he's getting a cheap shot in on Lemon is what he's doing. And look out, all hell is broken loose here. Oh my god, Lemon's head looked like it just broke there for his third neck. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Indeed, and now the winner 3 fives really dominating the tag champs. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. nope, not a shake, rattle, and roll. Instead, countered into a huge clothesline. Oh. And that could have been the opening that Fan Fox needed. I think Fan Fox is calling J5 a moron there. <laughs> Maybe. But look at this. Oh, yeah, he's firing himself up a little bit here. Could we see that Fox bottom? Oh, big spine buster instead. And now a pinfall. Mm -hmm. Yep, Skirrow's Not there. even a one count Skirrow on point on that one. Right back out of the ring. What's, oh, what's Fan Fox thinking now? He's thinking not much. All right. <laughs> the winner three fives obviously had that hiccup early on in their tag team career, getting that really quick count out loss. But they've figured it out since winning that, that TLC match last week. But beating, beating the tag champs sure would be a feather in their cap, regardless of the, their future in, uh, in, you know, Stan Firm's tag division or if they go over to Claw to keep competing. Yep. Or if they go back to singles, we will see. I can tell you we are still going to have tag teams in Stan Firm. Just going to be a little hard without that title incentive. Yep. Wow, vicious elbows from Lemon here. Skuro looking done, isn't he here? Look at that. Yeah, took a took an elbow to the head, but Lemon giving him a a, a, a sweet reprieve here. <laughs> oh no, he was just baiting him into moving so he could <laughs> kick him again. <laughs> this is the least I've seen Lemon celebrate. Wow, okay, we're kind of in a loop here. There we go. Oh, and Skuro ducks out of it. Maybe telegraph one too many oh. of those. And look at that. Half Nelson suplex. J5 assuming the position outside the ring. No one there to greet him. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, uh, excellent point, Ansi. Ansi pointing out, Claw mm -hmm. does have a laundry list of people in line for those tag titles. And the winner three fives, as much as they might think they deserve it, might have an uphill battle to, uh, to get to championship gold. We don't know what the future holds. Look at this. Beautiful Lemon by Asia. Lemon. Cross body off the top rope. Oh, I think All he might right. be ready to finish him off with the uh, Trouble in Paradise here. Yeah, having a little bit of a chat about what they want to do next. Lemon <laughs> really not into this. <laughs> now, it looks like Fan Fox may be talking some shit into Skuro's ears. And, uh... Oh, he missed! <laughs> He missed, somehow missed after oh. lining him up for that long. Skrull going to let him tag in. Fan no, he's not. I thought he was going to let him tag in Fan Fox. You know Skrull going to love to get a chance to uh, inflict extra pain to Fan Fox after what he did on Monday night. Yep. How the hell did he miss? Well, Skrull is kind of a fast and moving target. <laughs> yeah. Very agile, quick, you know, compact kind of guy. Puts a lot of weight into that five foot eight frame of his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over on Claw, they're not used to people under six feet tall. And look at this. Homeland calling. Boston Crab locked in on Lemon. Not going to crap. Crap. Tap. Not going to crap or tap, hopefully. <laughs> We've all crapped when put in a submission hole, to be fair. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. I remember our dick and elbow match. <laughs> <laughs> How could you forget it? <laughs> hey, stand firm, That's still end up lying on the ground. Seems like a, a few extra brain worms for everyone in this match. Everyone's just moving at half speed, it almost feels like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the IBS. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look out. Pump handle shoulder breaker. Oof. But Lemon sweeping the leg, and there it is. Classic Lemon distracting himself while celebrating. Is it going to cost them? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh. A lot of work to punch someone in the face there. It was a nice fisting, though. It sure was. Oh, beautiful move there. Double stomps him down, and Skrull in trouble needs to tag in to J5. But Lemon again. What is going on with Lemon right now? <laughs> Savoring it, I guess. Well, unfortunately, Penamu, we tried we tried to crown new tag champs on uh, Stan Firm, and uh, the powers that be decided they didn't want multiple titles for the same division. So that ain't happening. But look at this. Nice powerbomb into a pin here. Ooh. Oh, and J5 gets there in time. Skuro spins it around. Oh, Is Lemon going to tap? No, Lemon's able to get out of it. Ref wasn't even watching. I mean, you had to win the match to get the title, and you lost the match try. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you were put in a match that I thought was going to crown new tag champs, and it wasn't. Oof. Skuro really taking it to Lemon now. Fanfox out. Lemon really needs to get something going here. He's taking a lot of damage, and that's not going to help. Nice face buster. Oh, but look at this. Nice maneuver by Lemon into a pin. That's a cool pin oh, by he's got Lemon. Him. He's, got, he's him. got him. Unbelievable. J5 got all hung up in the ropes and couldn't break that up. Quite literally. Wow. And it uh, looks like a mousetrap pin there by, by Lemon is good. Catching Skuro off guard. And hey, you know what? Feather in, uh, feather in the caps of the tag champs. The winner three fives fall to them. And the tag champs are going back to Monday Night Claw with their heads, their gigantic heads in some cases, <laughs> held high. Yeah. Still haven't earned themselves a celebration, though. Nope. <laughs> 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 and here are your winners. There you go. Lemon is good. Fant Fox, they are dressed oh, for oh, business. Baby. The two heads champions, and they are, are victorious to open Friday. Stand firm. Yep. Very impressive showing. Yeah, well, well I got I to gotta say that was a quintessential Skuro loss there. You know, <laughs> they looked pretty dominant right towards the end of that match, and then... Just that one maneuver caught Skuro out and got him in the pin. Yep. Well, now we But here we go. I've been looking forward to this one. Epic eight-man battle royal coming up here, and this is all about the Wem Dope title. Night Demon has it, and if he wins this match, he gets to pick any opponent in the JFW to defend the Wem Dope title against that backlash. However... Whoever can eliminate Night Demon in this match will get put into a Backlash match for that title, as well as anyone who actually wins this match. And if it's the same person, well, then they are going to get a special treat. And this is this is going to be this is going to be a car crash of the ma of a match <laughs> in the best possible way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, there's no entrances, so the uh, the match will start instantly. So uh, be be careful for that. And uh, yes, it's going to be a wild one. Eight men over the top rope. End your other minute. Yeah, I mean if you're if you're vying for that Wemdope title, the thing you want to do is eliminate Night Demon first and win this match because then you get your one on one shot. Night Demon, he's tough in any situation. But he's a lot tougher when you got to worry about someone else trying to beat the both of you off. I mean, who wouldn't have that problem, right? Yeah. So, so your best hope here is to eliminate Night Demon and win. But we'll have to watch and see. And look at that ducky going right after Night Demon. Yeah. Dave instantly in trouble. Oh. Yep. Oof.
Nice even uh, smartly staying in the middle of the uh, the ring there. That's what you want to do in an over-the-top battle royale. But again, Ducky on point here going after him. Dangerous match for uh, Fymir here. Uh, Calcium's in the ring. You might see that, cal that kilt and see red. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a red kilt, so that wouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Calcium oh, over the top and out. <laughs> Dimmy with a light kick to Calcium's back, and Calcium is eliminated. Uh, went out almost as easily as if it was an SFL championship match. Hey! Dimmy with the instant elimination, wow. Oh, yeah, fine, man. Both, Showing off his weightlifting both, skills. Boosh. Both JBG and Foxamania, former tag partners, but this is for a solo title, so you got to believe they're no. going to be fist flying. Oh, and out goes Dave! Dave. <laughs> and Knight even still in this. Boy, would he love to win this. I mean, he could win this match and pick. I don't know. Who's the biggest loser in the JFW? Wolfbark, probably. Probably you could pick someone like that, or you know, it's Night Demon though. He likes a good challenge. He might pick a high-profile, you know, person. What if he put his title up against uh, uh, against Mr. Jim McMahon? Oh boy, yeah. What about Space Cadet? That. that would be nice to yeah. see. Oh, look out, Ducky! Oh no, he gets off somehow. Yeah, it's hard to imagine Ducky getting off, but if you <laughs> think real hard about it. <laughs> Yep. It'll come to mind. And Ducky, oh, Ducky's not having a good time right now. No, no, he's got severe brain worms here. Oh, dear. A little bit of moonwalking going on, but uh, he doesn't have... Oh, he's fighting. Oh, maybe he was... Uh, I think he was a little bit a little bit far away for that kick on JBG at first and didn't realize it. Yep. Oh, and I think Dimmy might be here. on his look, way out. Yeah, look out, Dimmy. Ducky gonna put you out. Oh! Oh! The good bomb on on Night Demon. I thought he was gonna just power bomb him out of the ring, but he yeah, would have been Dimmy would have been on. smart. Night Demon not really looking like he's about to go out at the moment, is he? Oh, the two Yorkies fighting each other here. Yep. Yeah, that, again, that'll happen. This is every man for himself. Doesn't matter what their what their regional relationships or former tag uh, relationships are. And Ducky being real stupid there. Oh, I think finally he might get. Oh, oh, Dimmy's gone. Uh, yeah, Jamie's G gone. eliminating Dimmy, but still in the ring is Nineteen. And two favorites in this match, Fimir and JBG, are right there. But it looks like they're working on each other instead of the champ. Yep. This could play right into Night Demon's hands. Oh, look out! Foxamania! Foxamania might have him! Oh, he's, he's got, got him. him! He's got it! Foxamania has just punched his ticket to Backlash. And if he wins this match, it'll be Foxamania versus Night Demon. Boy, howdy. Imagine, imagine if JBG wins this now. Yeah. Get JBG, Foxamania, and Night Demon in the same match. That sure would be something. That'd be wild. Diced. Oh, big move on JBG. Indeed. Oh, oh and over the top he goes. And he hangs on. I thought he was going to get out just like Calcium did, but he did hang on. Yeah. And now Ducky going to fly from the top rope. Dangerous spot to be wow. in, but oh, look at that. 450 splash. What a maneuver. And now, oh, this could be it. No, that is Foxamania it for Foxamania. We are going to have at least the three-way at Backlash. Well, hey. who is going to be the third person? <laughs> but hey, you know, yeah. Foxamania. Oh, it's not JBG. Oh, it's, it's not going to be a Yorkie special. It's going to be Ducky. Or Famir joining Foxamania and Night Demon in that match. Could it be Famir? He's looking good here. He really is, yeah. Oh, it is, it is, he's got oh, it. Oh, it is! Famir's done it! We've got it! We've got our match! Unbelievable! It's gonna be Famir and Foxamania and Night Demon for the Wem Dope title. And let me tell you, that was a lot of fun.
We might have to add more to that match. We'll see how things shake out in the next couple, uh, in the next week. Oh, howdy. Unbelievable stuff by all the men involved in this one. Congratulations to Foxmania. Congratulations to Famir. What a great start to our uh, backlash run up. Yep. Boo. <laughs> one. Like this. One the <laughs> Congratulations, Famir. I'll shout it down to you because you're still in the fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get that man a bike. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep, nice one, Fymir. Right. Well, now, now, Fymir, you got to give us a little insight. What are you thinking for Backlash? You, you got to go up against Night Demon and Foxamania, two very different styles in a match to win that Wem Dope title. Well, just uh, let uh, them destroy each other and uh, reap the benefits. <laughs> Indeed. All right, folks. And now we are going to add more to our Plim Plum Pluser weight match. Of course, store your reigning champion, and he will be facing um, at least just uh, Joe. Just Joe, who won last. No, no, week. I know, no, I know that. I, I was going to say how many people, but we don't actually know that right now. But just Joe winning a four-way elimination match. To, uh, to get added to Backlash. And we're going to have another one now with these four. And hey, you know what? We got one more week next week. We might just do it one more time. We'll have to see. We're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel here <laughs> with competitors <laughs> for the Plim Plum Loser Wade title. But will it be Ripper Doc? <laughs> will it be Papa Piccolo, Blue Bomber, or... Rain Tanner. Huh? Rain Tanner. Roar Rain Tanner! <laughs> Who the fuck's the other guy? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Papa Piccio, Piccolo, no stranger to the Plim Plum Blues Away Tunnel. He had himself an epic run about a year ago. Yeah. But he hasn't come back to form since. Can he do it now? Winning a four way uh, uh, extreme elimination match would be. Uh, a great way to get himself into that. It's the only way to get himself into that match at Backlash. Sure is. <laughs> Glorious Famir, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, Congrats geez. again, baby. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a preview of Backlash tonight in the main event. <laughs> Frost Lord versus Tony, non-title obviously because that title match is at Backlash, but the winner of this match gets to pick the stipulation, and uh, I can't wait to see what they've got in store. Yep. For hello, Goliath. The high flying blue bomber. Guys. Always entertaining in these matches, very rarely wins them. Yep. Box out, Mega Man. Box out, Mega Man. It's been a while since we've seen him, too, huh? Yep. <laughs> Is he Kyan Cyan or Cyan? Or Cryan. Or Cryan Purple. The other one. Yeah, and Purple as well is an option. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> did you see Did you see that clip, Skuro? Uh, I mean, I heard Dimmy mispronounce the word Cyan multiple times. Yeah, but then, uh, then, uh, Dimmy, Dimmy asked Trent what color a jumper was, and she said purple. It was, it was either light blue or cyan. Uh, I have not, I have not seen that. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. This is purple. Like, what, what the hell? Why did I say that? Oh, like, she knew she was saying the wrong color when she said it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah <laughs> Why did I say purple? 
No, oh, he is he is ripping. Dog, yeah, Hotel connoisseur, ripper dog. <laughs> Very good thing. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> this is purple. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, trying, sorry, physics. That's it, bad milk, that's a big problem in the JFW. Wrestling and milk. Couldn't be more intertwined. Here's <laughs> Rain Tanner. He had a big win on Claw a few weeks ago. Tanner. Yeah, he had a big win on he had a big win on Claw, honestly, beat Storr in a, in a multi-man match. Uh, I don't think I don't believe he pinned Storr, but he did win the match, so. He's got ah, some form enough. behind him. Yeah, well, you know, a win here could get him in another multi-man match against Thor, and this time the title would be on the line. That would be a big step for this no-name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a really big probing stick. His probing stick is even bigger than, than Physics's probing stick. <laughs> It does look like you walked through a blender, doesn't it? Oh dear. Does have a lot of scars. Yep. <laughs> yep, indeed. Well, here we go. Four-way extreme elimination match. This is the uh, the hallmark of the uh, Plum Plum Blues Away division. Yeah. Stick and elbow match. <laughs> <laughs> Stick and elbow match. Oh, and uh, wow, Blue mm -hmm. Bomber going for that, going going right off the bat for that uh, uh, arc lay O, but got countered. Still on top of Rain Tanner, though, as uh, Ripper Doc, another, another guy we don't see too much of. Really grinding away at the face of uh, Papa Piccolo there with his foot, but Papa Piccolo back up and oh, beautiful takedown! And we have separated into two two v twos as we see so often in these kinds of matches. Yep. Yep, indeed. Oh, Papa Piccolo, vicious elbow to the heart of Ripper Doc. No. Oh. Oh, and a super kick there. Yeah, savage stuff. Rain yeah, very dominant now by Papa. Papa P. Papa P. Big Papa P. <laughs> Big Papa P. Oh, nice, nice dodge outside the ring there by Blue Bomber and uh, all those uh, those educated uh, chops and le less educated chops by Papa Piccolo there. Yeah. Because <laughs> he misses wildly. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like we've traded dancing partners, folks. That's nice. I've got to tell you, it's going to be pretty dangerous on the outside tonight. There is 47 feet of concrete tonight. 47 feet of concrete. Can you believe it, folks? Look out. Oh, no. Oh, he put his head through his legs and kicked it. <laughs> Oh. Nasty shin injury there. Dimmy knows the, yep. about all those all too well. <laughs> Rain Papa Piccolo just. Oh. Oh, again he's going for this move. <laughs> yep, that looks really terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Looks like he's trying to shove his head up his ass and then <laughs> his foot into his head up his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Does not get him the elimination, though. This match continues as a four-way. Oh, but look at this. Really wrenching those arms. Oh, my goodness. Trying to pop the joint out of the socket there. Wow, Bulldog to rip it off. Absolutely wrecked. Oh, but here comes Blue Bomber. Kick, kick back and dumps him outside the ring. 
And he will pursue. Just realized yeah. like everyone's wearing a top in this match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a thing. And now we've also got a table out. Mm -hmm. Ripper Doc gets the surgeon's table out, drills Rain Tanner with it, and then abandons the entire <laughs> half of the screen. <laughs> He's exclusive to Monday Night Claw Goliath because he is the EAB champion. Yeah. And there you go. You'll have to tune in on, on a Monday if you want to see Goliath. Whoa. Indeed. Oh, nice suplex there. Nice takedown there. Everything's fired up in the ring now. Here's a pin attempt. Just a two count. Rain Tanner kicks out. That that table did make it into the ring. Will it get set up at any point? My guess is no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably not is my guess too. <laughs> now Papa Piccolo getting a little bit of a break from the outside as the other three go at it in the <laughs> ring. Yep, this is a brainworm special right now. <laughs> oh, sure, sure is. A lot of wild punches. Here we go. Papa Piccolo back in. Now we're back down to two on two. Oh, Rain Tanner's in some serious trouble. No, nice counter, though, yep. by him to get back in this. Huge counter. And out, the, out of the ring goes the table and the blue bomber. Oh, dirty deeds on Papa Piccolo. Will this be enough? Yeah. Is that it? Former Plum Plum Cruiserweight no. champion. No, he kicks out at two. I think he's the only one in the ring to have held that title. Yeah, probably. You got a what cow? Oh, look oh. out! Oh, and that's going to do it for Ripper Duck. We've seen that match in a lot of matches before. Yeah, Pat Piccio knows. Look at that. He's loving it. Yeah, but he's got to pin him. This is elimination. This doesn't win the match. It just eliminates Ripper Duck, who had way too much time. If he had pinned him right off the get-go, that would have been a three count. Yep. Papa Piccolo's got to know better than that. It's been a while for him since he's been in the spotlight, I guess. Yeah. Wow, what a move. Oh, but Ooh, sledgehammer to the get... knee. Oh, no. Yeah, Rain Tanner. I mean, hey, it's all legal. It's an extreme elimination match. Boy, howdy. Just punishing him on the outside. He is. <laughs> Blue Bomber is not looking good out there, but it is not false count anywhere. Rain Tanner will have to get him in the ring for the pin to try and eliminate him. And look at this a pin on Puppet. He's Piccolo. got him. He's going. He did. I don't actually know what he did to him to get him, but he sure did get him. He did the page turner. Um, he learned that from Paige. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Penamu, hard to believe, but true. Wow, this is absolute brain worms right now. <laughs> Well, yeah, the, the three ways can uh, sometimes be like that. In, in fairness, though, in fairness to all three of these guys, every three way I've been in, it's only been two people paying attention and one being left out. <laughs> oh, dear. At least you've been involved in some. I hope Flicky just doesn't want to get involved in those situations. <laughs> <laughs> There's an in joke for you. <laughs> oh dear. Indeed. Oof. Brutal. And again. Oh, oh wow. Just trading off bouncing Rain Tanner's skull off the <laughs> turnbuckle post there. Oh, and now rip it down. Ring post. Oh. Now Blue Bomber, the only one standing, but again, got to get him in the ring to get an elimination. Might want to start thinking about that. Yep. Getting this down to a 1v1 drastically increases your odds. And he, uh, hmm? he did not succeed. 
Sure do. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Northern Light Suplex, I believe. Oh, man, a bulldog. On the 47 feet of concrete, and he's about to hit his finisher, Dirty Deeds. I don't know, but again, not inside the ring. This could cost them. Oh. There it is, and look out, Ripper Doc. Ripper Doc might be dead from that. <laughs> yeah. But exactly here's the problem. Can't get the pin on him, and now Blue Bomber doesn't give a shit. He's going to go after the man he sees as a bigger threat and fail miserably. <laughs> Very good try, but you could just have two body pillows, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and here we go now. Blue Bomber in some trouble here. Here comes a pin attempt on him by Ripper Duck. No. And a two count kick out, and all three men are in the ring now. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> all the way slam there by Ripper Duck. And now Blue Bomber up on his feet and gets a backbreaker for his trouble. And a pin attempt. This oh, might boy. do it. It might. Oh. Oh, two and a half count kick out. Blue Bomber in trouble. He's got to get up and get an offense in. If he can get that beautiful cutter off, uh, he might have a chance. But uh, it's looking bad here. High looking risk maneuver bad. for Ripper Doc. He wants him up on his feet. He's got him up on his feet. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh. And then, oh, look at this. Rolls him through. Right oh, that's up it. and that's into it. He's a done. Heat. He's done. <laughs> and Blue Bomber's stealing the pin, but it doesn't matter who gets the pins. Just that they have it. Oh, no. Ripper Dog somehow kicked out of that. How on earth did he kick out? What's happening here? Oh, nothing's happening there. Opportunist and Blue Bomber being real smart here, seeing a hole and trying to get the slightly less weak man eliminated first. Yeah, good shout. But that might give Ripper Doc a recovery that Blue Bomber is not ready for. And here we go. Yep. But look at the state of Ripper Doc covered it, bro. Oh. Yeah. Blue Whoa. Bomber sent out of the ring, but you got two in the ring. You know, guys, you got to wrestle each other, too. <laughs> no, no, they just want Blue Bomber out. No. Oh. Drives the elbow right into the face, and again, Ray Tanner taking over here. <laughs> Ripper Doc locking in a submission maneuver again. Not going to get a tap out outside the ring, but you can do some significant ligament damage, and it sure looks like he's about to. I think Ripper Doc found the open hole for you, Penamu. <laughs> oh, again, that oh. Bulldog. Yeah, running Bulldog on the concrete. You hate to see it, but you also kind of love to see it. <laughs> Here we go. Is that it for Ripper Doc? It looks like it might be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! He, connected. <laughs> he knew he was kicking out, so he went oh, for it. No. Big super kick. He could get a both here. Wow. He could get a both here. No, the counter by Ripper Doc. What the hell, Ripper Doc? Unbelievable. Oh, not this time, though. Look at this. Tying him up in knots. Wow. What a maneuver by Blue Bomber. Innovative offense, if you ask me. Incredible But he's stuff. got to get the pin. He's got to get this down. And, oh, this could be it. No, he sends him out of the ring again. Unbelievable, Jeff. It sure is. But, again, not getting the eliminations. Man, think back on how quickly Papa Piccolo went out comparatively here. Yeah. Yeah, crazy stuff.
And again, Blue Bomber really having a hard time prioritizing, keeps trading opponents, maybe just needs to finish one off. Oh my God, he went halfway across the ring for that elbow, but he came up and uh, got it. And it's here's a pinning this. attempt. No. no, a two count kick out again. Rain Tanner still in this, all three men. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, I think Rain Tanner accidentally intercepted a kick there <laughs> yeah. that saved Blue Bomber from going out of the ring. Yeah, incredible. Blue Bomber dead on his feet, Rain Tanner dead on his back here. Oh, but another two count second. kick out. And now if Blue Bomber were smart, he'd get a big move in on Ripper Doc. He tries for it, but gets countered. And now Rain Tanner coming back. This is anyone's game, if you ask me. It really is. And oh, very smart. Ripper Doc took the big move and rolled out of the ring. But here we go. Oh, this, this is it. This could be it. This could be it for Rain Tanner. What a maneuver! Unbelievable. Float over Rainbow Arcleo into the pin. What? And he kicked out again! What? That's his finisher. Somehow Rain Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> One too many flips for Blue Bomber, I think. <laughs> <laughs> now it looked so good until it didn't do anything of value. <laughs> oh, that's very and dangerous. that's surely it. Surely it for Blue Bomber. Oh my god. That was so funny. And it, and it is, and we're down to Ripper Dock and Rain Tanner. Oh man. Imagine Ripper Dock getting to contend for a title on a pay-per-view, Jim. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> sure is going to be something, but that's what we're down to here. He could get a rebrand as a hotel <laughs> fan. <laughs> that, might yeah. be, that might happen. He could have the dick window as his finisher. <laughs> Dude. This could be it. Look, we could get the yeah, tap out here. Yeah, locked in here. He's tying yeah. him up like a fucking pretzel. <laughs> this could be Freaking it. Freaking pretzel. Didn't swear. Yep, thanks. Doesn't count if you uh, take it back in three seconds, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that works. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Rebrand him as a hotel fan. A deranged hotel fan. Or oh, one of the characters in Hotel. That's it! Well, he's and done he it! got him, and Ripper Doc is going to Backlash. Look out, Just Joe, and look out, especially <laughs> Store. You probably don't need to worry too much about your time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff by the Plim Plum Plizzerweights, as always. Those four way extreme elimination matches, always a delight. This one, no different. Yeah. <laughs> the less, maybe, you know, maybe you could call them less alliance, but look at him. He's covered in blood. He got the win. Good for him. Well done, Ripperdor. Oh, dear. He's going to backlash. Unbelievable. He sure is. The, one, the state of the JFW, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Anyway, moving on from that. Oh, look what's up next. Can you believe oh, it, boy. guys? <laughs> I've been waiting for so long. Waiting <laughs> so long for this one. Next up, folks, Marcel McDaniels. Finally making his long-awaited return issuing an open challenge be a and he guy. is definitely going to be wrestling in the ring tonight on friday stand firm 100 this uh dr funk this is not a wrestler this is a mystery opponent he is he's putting out an open challenge whoever answers it M marcel will fight so there you go let's let's go to ringside and see who's going to be taking on marcel Here we go, baby. Hey, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a second. What's going on here? It's 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 Mrs. Wanger and 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 Wendy backstage. Last week we saw a big brawl break out, and 
and now we're getting another one here. And oh, Marcel is in the ring right now, awaiting an opponent. But we got to keep cameras back here because we've got a developing situation with Mrs. Mm -hmm. Wanger and Wendy. This women's division has really, really been. Uh, <laughs> Really been uh, explosive recently. Last week we saw Wendy versus Trent. Trent coming up victorious. Now Wendy again backstage in a fight, but this time it's with Mrs. Wanger. I think all of them are trying to trying to claim themselves the face of this uh, this massive roster of women's wrestlers that we have in the JFW. Yeah, it's a huge, huge roster. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, apparently, uh, apparently, hold the keep. No one has answered that. Uh, Marcel is now leaving the ring. I'm being told. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to delay another week on that. Sorry, sorry for the hold up on Marcel's uh, return. We want to do it right, so we don't want to, you know, preempt it at all. But we, you know, we've got a, a dangerous situation here. A lot of weapons in back here that we have to keep an eye on. So we got to keep our cameras back here. But we'll get back to Marcel next week. I promise. Next week, Marcel McDaniels will make his return and will get his open challenge. Oh, fantastic. Can't wait to see that. Indeed. <laughs> uh, indeed, <Penemue. laughs> Maybe, Penemue, maybe. But, you know, this is on the Titan Tron now, so there's no, there's no way we can, uh, <laughs> we can have the Marcel match. <laughs> it is crazy, isn't it, HTK? Yeah. Oh, what a thunderous kick from Wendy. Well, you know, hold the key. None of us have the power to control when a brawl like this will break out. So, like, it, you know, it's just one of those things. You know, again, apologies to Marcel. It seems like when these do happen, it happens to him more than anyone else. Yeah. However, it's, you know, it's not like we get to pick what happens when on these shows. So. Exactly. It's only ever 10 feet backstage, Catalyze. Yeah, backstage it's a lot safer. <laughs> oh, there's the Terminus. Doesn't finish Wendy. Holy moly. No, Wendy, oh, God. When, Wendy's used to getting pounded, so she's able to get up from a little oh bit. Oh, my more God. Than Threw it on her head as well. Wow, Mrs. Wagger feeling it right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazon noises. Nah, it's not that bad. No, definitely not Amazon noises. <laughs> well, look out, though. I mean, if Wendy doesn't get something going. Now, again, Wendy was in just in one of these matches last week in a brawl backstage and, and lost to Trent, so she really doesn't want to lose another brawl backstage. <laughs> oh, how is that, though? Oh, and here we go. Wendy stalking Mrs. Wanger now, trying to get the upper hand. Oh, what a big elbow. Oh! oh. <laughs> blow, blow the donkey punch. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Yeah, well, we've got a... a, a oh, my oh, no. God. Oh, no. Wendy is taking no shit now. <laughs> Mrs. Wagger in a very dangerous place. Oh, 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 God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone call an ambulance. Oh, Somebody call an ambulance. God. Surely that's going to do it. No, Mrs. <laughs> Wagger hanging on. What the hell? Wow. Wendy really taking it on here. This is just ugly now. Uh, as I was saying, Dr. Funk... You know, we've got a hell of a roster of women already. Probably chock full of them. We've got Wendy, Mrs. Wanger, and Trent, and so many others that I don't even need to name right now. You know, if, uh, if we had more women that were attending our shows live and wanted to be a part of it, obviously we'd add them. But we're not just going to go around just uh, drafting and signing uh, people against their will. Like, you know, like we would never just, like, take a celebrity like Sean Bean and just make him, you know, make him wrestle for us uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, unrequested by him. He yeah. sent us a personal request to join the GFW. Yeah. So. Same as Nicolas Cage and uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe Mrs. Wanger is still in this match after, no. uh, after that. 
And Wendy, after the terminus, they've both taken absolutely brutal moves, but yeah, obviously the, they the... have. This is anyone's game. But uh, Wendy, if she takes one more big move, I think that's going to be it. And this could do it. DDT oh. onto the pavement, and it didn't put her oh out. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. I think this is the best performance we've ever seen from Wendy. Yeah, 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 absolutely. One of the best uh, backstage matches not involving Skirametsa. <laughs> I was just thinking this reminds me of Golden for Gold versus Skirametsa. <laughs> One of the greatest matches of all time, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I gotta say, of all the shocking things we've seen in this match, no pun intended to the electrical uh, box there. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised that the interview is still going on down the hall. Yeah, they normally end way before this. Obviously, he's yeah. scared to run away because then he might uh, end up fighting Marcel. I guess that was his. That's why uh, I didn't run yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, maybe if he ran out the wrong door and Marcel was away again. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, is that is that it? Oh, is that exploder it? suplex, it and it is it. Wendy celebrating. She knew when she had her in the air that she had the win. And Wendy avenges her loss to Trent last week. And this women's division is just so even between the, well, the top three on the roster and the many below them. Uh, <laughs> it, it really is something. It's, it's probably the deepest pool of talent in women's wrestling worldwide. In, absolutely incredible. Um, unbelievable. I mean, we don't even need to count all the names. We can just look at a few and you know, like we've got Wendy, Mrs. Wanger, Trent, and so many more. It's unbelievable stuff. So many more. 90% of commentary is gaslighting, Jim. <laughs> so, so many more. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, and now we've got Satatod with his amazing recent run taking on Purple Chest. Does your dojo not also do SFL championships then, Calcium? <laughs> Woo, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Calcium walked into that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go. You know, this might seem like just a throwaway match, two singles competitors that haven't really met each other a whole lot before, but Satterfield is really making a name for himself on the mid card, winning match after match. He's done it all. He got himself a count out win. He's won the big matches the hard way and uh, really trying to make a case that he is a future singles competitor and should be in a title scene in the JFW. Yep. But standing in his way tonight, Purple Chest gonna wiggle his way out of the back here, and the uh, the, uh, the 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 world famous actor Purple Chest, a podcast host, uh, pretty decent wrestler, okay Blood Bowl player. He's kind of he's got a lot under there on, under his uh, ample belt, and he's coming out tonight to take on the big man Satterfield. This is gonna be a hoss fight. Yeah. They do come me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the American? I guess probably Satterfield, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the like truck driver type, whereas PC's <laughs> yeah. typical typical Brit with that outfit, isn't he, obviously? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's how all British people dress. Right? <laughs> Famed British musician Elvis Presley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow! What a oh, kick. look at that high kick. I definitely believe Satterfield could get his leg up that high. <laughs> yeah. Especially in tight jeans. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean really tight if you look at his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Boy, how do both of them have crotches are something to behold, to be fair. Indeed. <laughs> That's how they found out they were long lost siblings, in fact. <laughs> 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 And here's a quick early pin by Satterfield. Will PC be 
the guy to stop the run of Satterfield. Not looking likely right now. Oh, oh. no, nope. Satterfield needs a little timeout, and he picked a bad time for it. <laughs> oh, terrible. What a terrible time to sit down on the jump. Yeah, that was not the best uh, strategy by him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sean. <Shandy>, yeah. <laughs> PC should have won this to NAFC, shouldn't he? <laughs> That'd be incredible. Should have won what? Oh, wow, yes, Warren. Yes, yeah, he could have won this, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Including the blindfold, <laughs> just to make things interesting. <laughs> oh, beautiful suplex. And uh, Satterfield here, oh, look out. Oh, it drops the elbow right through the heart of PC. Devastating. Again, going for uh, a sit-down maneuver. A little bit of a better time. Yeah, Satterfield, Yeah, he's a he's a security guard by trait, so he needs to sit and observe, you know? That's how, he, that's how he's good. He's got to make sure he memorizes the pathing that everyone's taking <laughs> uh, so he can really strategize where to uh, kick his tiny feet next. Yeah. <laughs> All about the passing of Satterfield, yeah. I have no doubt that PC, with given two weeks lead time, could find a purple Elvis costume to yeah. wear that none of us would have to pay money for, including him. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't think that would be a problem in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I can see him doing it. Oh, dear. No, look out. Running knee here. This could oh, do it. He no, he missed. This. He missed. Amazing. Using his uh, sixth senses to uh, know that knee was coming, PC gets out of the way, but doesn't get out of the way of that. And here comes a pin attempt on him. Oh. Just a one count. PC is a tough cookie. Yep. Yeah, they should call it. It'd be incredible. Hello, Tom Schniz. Hello, Tom Schniz. Oof. Oh, choke slam. Oh, look out. Choke no, slam. No. Elbowing out of it. Nice counter by Satterfield. Can he get the snack mass off? <laughs> you can get a lot of kicks. Oh, he drops the knee. <laughs> the actor bat phone, indeed. <laughs> oh, PZL is not part of such a team. Here we go, the snack mass. Oh. The snack mass, he lifts him up with his foot, and this could do Oof. it. Oh, he didn't see that coming, Good Jim. Night. He sure didn't. And could this be another huge win oh. for Satterfield? No, the two and a half count kick out. PC stays alive, and this match continues. But what does PC oh. have left? Oh, he gets those tiny directed feet right to the chest. But nice counter, dragon screw, and PC is up. Oh, wow. Oh god, I'd love to see real bezel in a bathrobe doing the bezel, <laughs> the bezel uh, speed uh, walk. I'd love to see bezel in his ring gear doing the bezel walk. <laughs> you would. <laughs> oh yeah, probably could if I uh, brought him enough whiskey. He probably lives like 30 minutes away. Yeah. The PC's new jogging suit. Oh glorious! Thank you very much, Physics, for the thousand bits. Wonderful! Thank you very, very much. Oh yeah. Uh, shortly after this ends, yes, Char, so Char. probably like 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Real people are this. The good thing about UTC is it's the same for everyone. But yes, it was it was 2100 UTC seven minutes ago. Yeah. Oh my goodness, brought him Ooh. up to the top rope and slams him down. Still doesn't go for the pin though. Satterfield knows he's got to really put PC away. <laughs> he's going after his wanking arm. Oh. That's one way to do it. PC's been married for a long time and has teenage kids. Means he's uh, exclusively using his, uh, his arms these days for <laughs> sexual gratification. <laughs> 
What's freedom time, Tom Schnitz? Freedom time is uh, J5's uh, time zone, so it's an hour behind me. Right. Is that central? Yes, central US time. Right, thank you. <laughs> so minus five UTC. Yeah. It was so wow. weird to me that you guys use UTC, not GMT, for that time zone. Because I used to say GMT, because that's what we were always taught. And then no one knew what GMT was, but it's Greenwich Mean Time. Yeah. <laughs> which, the difference which is a is, British thing. Yeah, the difference is, you know, other people use UTC. GMT is a time zone, and UTC is like a time. That's That's the difference. Oh, so I was always taught UTC is GMT. Or vice versa, I mean. GMT is UTC. So that it never changed. I was always four hours off of it or five hours off of it. Yeah, I mean, it kind of is. But yeah, that's that, that's it. GMT is our time zone. And, and GMT is UTC. So yeah. Right, but in the summer, you guys are not GM. Oh, you are still GMT. Yeah, we're still in the GMT time zone. We're just, we're just, we got British. I time. see, I see. Yeah. Okay, so in, I always thought it was you. I thought GMT was the one that no one used. That was like zero, effectively, which is what UTC is. Anyway, we missed another smack, a snack mass, and yep. Satterfield gets another big win. And his dominance continues. What an unbeaten streak by this uh, by this competitor. Really impressive stuff. And you've got to believe that is putting him high up the rank charts to get into a title shot somehow. Yep, yep. Incredible performance again by Sutter. Absolutely glorious. Yes, we don't move time zones out, me. Yeah, yeah, no, we're all saying the same thing, just stupidly <laughs> and differently. I, 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 I get what we're saying. I just, yeah. in my brain, I thought no one else used GMT for the standardized zero, and yeah. that everyone used UTC, and that's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. And, and Cornite is right, obviously, UTC yeah. was 100% created. Right, and right, right, and right. not too unhappy yeah. about using our time zone, yeah, basically. Yeah. The British invented time, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it was made, like, uh, I believe UTC was, like, made for bolts. <laughs> but don't quote me. I won't. Good. There you go. Huge win for Satter. Indeed. Satterfield on an absolute tear. Yep. And now it's time for the main event. Boy, it howdy. Sure, it sure is. A little bit of a preview of Backlash. Tony plays poorly. Your world heavyweight champion is going one-on-one -on -one against Frostlord tonight. Title is not on the line. It will be in a week's time. Uh, at Backlash, but whoever wins this match tonight will get to set the stipulation for Backlash. Get to pick any match they want. That could be Hell in a Cell. It could be. It won't be a cage match. It could be Extreme <laughs> Rules. It could be a basic match, a backstage brawl. Who knows? Whatever they want, whatever they think is going to give them the best advantage in the match, that's the one they're going to pick. And what will it be? Frostlord versus Tony. It could be a submission match, event. couldn't it? It could be a submission match. It could be anything, yes. Because Tony only gives up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Frosty. Speaking of sailors. UTC. Here we go. Frosty definitely still calls it GMT. <laughs> hello, hello, one pump. That is a uh, name I would not be proud of. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> what a name. Baby Petamia. 100% GMT. There you go. GMT tattoo on his ass. <laughs> it might be a Theresa Mame one. <laughs> Are you, 
Also, when I was when I first learned about Greenwich Mean Time, I thought the town of Greenwich like glowed. Like it was like this weird nexus of the universe. So in my brain for like a long time in, as a child, I thought there was a place in like England where time converged <laughs> and it like glowed. Amazing. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I for like a shockingly long time of like like well past what I should have realized that that was obviously stupid. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> <laughs> until, until, I'll never tell, Pinnacle. Until last week. <laughs> gotta be amazing, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you never thought anything stupid when you were a child, too, Elf. <laughs> My own. Was it no pumps? <laughs> <laughs> It was jizz in my pants, 91. (laughs) 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 All right, giving Tony plays poorly, your world heavyweight champion, uh, the, the due respect he deserves. He is the best of the best, folks, and we are lucky to have him exclusive to Friday stand firm as long as he's holding that title. Tony Plays Poorly puts all the shirts out to the fans. He's the one who buys the game for us. He is the JFW, if you're asking me, and he is exclusive to the JFW Friday stand firm. Oh, baby. The world champ. Wait, wait wait a minute. What's going on here? That's Rick. What's Rick Reckless doing here? This is a non-title match. This has nothing to do with anything. Frostlord is a little distracted by him right now. And Tony take Tony taking over with a quick pin. No what's way. What's going on? No. Oh. Wow, that could have been a three count if the ref just <laughs> kept counting. Yep. Oh my goodness, and a rollover again. <sighs> Oh my goodness, and he kicked out again. What is Rick doing here? Wow. It looks like he's watching this match. He's gotten clearly gotten into Frostlord's head. Tony, maybe even a little bit paying attention to him too. What is going on? Oh boy. Boy, how Unbelievable howdy. stuff. <laughs> but okay, well back, ignoring Rick for a minute now, both these guys have to refocus and get back to this match. I have, I have no idea why Rick is here. I didn't even know he was in the arena tonight, and he just made his way out to ringside to observe Tony plays poorly versus Frostlord. Oh boy, and instantly Tony's got oh. the stunner. Oh no, and Tony, oh he's got it, <laughs> he's hit the stunner, and down he goes. What is going on here? Oh. oh, Frostlord able to kick out. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm just so thrown off by Rick Reckless making a surprise appearance here. A couple yeah. stomps, another pin, but now Frosty is stirring. He's kicked out, and he's got to get up and get some offense in. He was definitely more distracted. You, you know, that can happen. You know, Tony's been there and done it all. He's got the title. And, you know, Frostlord, this is a huge moment for Frostlord leading into another huge moment for him in a, you know, in a week's time. And just Rick's presence just seems to have thrown him off his game completely. But now here comes Frostlord right back. Beautiful fallaway slam. And now he's looking in control of Tony plays poorly, big fist, and a nice spine buster bouncing his head off the back of the, or off the uh, off the ring there. And then, oh, look at that, a double-handed choke slam. Oh, wow. <laughs> sure thing, oh, he's gonna try and put him out. Frosty's gonna try and choke out Tony. No, Tony able to power his way out. Oh, pedigree, pedigree. And the pedigree. We're getting all the big moves right now. And this is the pin. This could be it. No, Tony powers out. 
And our main event continues again. Rick Reckless at ringside seems to be a neutral observer at this point, but he's definitely gotten in the heads of both of these competitors. But now Frost Lord Army with a few big moves is getting his offense going. Can he pile it on? We've seen Tony weather the storm time and time again and come back with for a win. But already one stunner was not enough to put Tony or er, to put Frost Lord away. Mm. Oh, big miss. Good dodge by Tony. Oh, look at this. Oh, Beautiful. big back body drop there. Stomp's coming in. Luthes press. Luthes press, yeah, punching away. And Just it looks, oh, it looks like he's busting him open a bit. Here's a pin. Oof. Oh, just a two count kick out again. Nearly had him, but Frosty's had his milk. Yep. And Frost Lord saying, no way, no how. I've got this. I am picking that match. Oh, doesn't even do anything. Just goes for a one count <laughs> pin. Oh, God. Rick having maybe a good look to, there. Yeah, maybe needed to follow that up more. Oh, and Frost Lord just saying, punch me in the stomach. And Tony <laughs> obliging. And that did not work out uh, in the toughness category as Frost Lord had expected. <laughs> oh, dear. For headlock, the classic headlock. Yep, just trying to wear him down, you know. Uh, Frostler got that big bear hug in on Tony earlier, and it did the job. Now Tony trying to uh, return the favor, just wrenching the air out of his body and weakening him, but it looks like it's not going to matter. Here, look at this. Ooh. Oh, my God, he throws him halfway across the ring. Huge. What a maneuver. What a maneuver indeed. Nice uppercut by Tony. And this is so even. Oh, oh my God, another stutter. stutter. Another stutter, and that's got to be it. No Come way. Away, he kicks out of two of those. Ref slow on the count. Oh, and he did. The ref, the ref tripped a little bit trying to get that count in, and that was just enough for Frost Lord to stay in this match. He has kicked out of two stutters. Have we ever seen that before? I'm not sure we have. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable indeed. Probably brain worms, Chair. <laughs> yep. There's a lot and of brain Frost worms Lord, in the GFW. Yeah, game. Frost Lord is in prime, prime form right now as he is gearing up for his title match against Tony next week. Yep. Oh. But look out, Tony's coming back here. Misses with the clothesline. Oh, he jumping clothesline takes him down. And this could be, could we see a third stunner? Oh no, God, we might. Press. We might see it soon, you know. No one's kicking out of three stunners in a match. That's for damn sure. Yeah, that's got to be impossible. It sure does. But Frost Lord looking to maybe put this away before that even becomes a question. Just another Gets one. himself a cheeky one count because he didn't do any, you know, wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Forgot to do the wrestling. Oh, stop it! Oh, stop it! Oh, stop it! Frost Lord is too far ahead trying to pump himself up. And, uh, yeah, he's got to have to focus. I said he was in prime form. I think he's thinking a little too hard about things and he's not going with the flow. Got himself stunned a third time, and that was surely going to be it. But again, the real question here, what the hell is Rick Reckless doing at ringside? Yeah. yeah do very not understand that in the slightest, but I do know that Tony Plays Poorly has won, and next week we will have an announcement as to what his uh, stipulation is for the Backlash match. Glorious. <laughs> Frosty. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, and oh Rick's in the ring. What's Rick doing? Rick Rick looks to be cheering him on. He is. Rick's cheering on Tony. Tony oh, shaking boy. hands with Rick. Not entirely sure what that's all about. Boy howdy. Rick maybe uh putting in his cards with him. what a what a 
What a power couple that is, right? Yeah, Rick unbelievable. Rick Reckless and Tony plays poorly. Standing tall at the end of uh, Friday Stand Firm. We're going to have to see where this relationship is going. But we're going to have to wait until next week. Folks, you've got Monday Night Claw this Monday. And then one more Stand Firm. And then the Sunday after that is Backlash. And we will see you Monday. We'll see you Friday. We'll see you Sunday. We'll see you soon, shitheads. My name's Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good night, everyone. Yep. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.